When you're ready to create a sign on Signs.com, you'll find that our design tool allows you to easily customize one of our templates or create a sign from scratch. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through a typical project so that you can see some of the main features of the site. First, I'll choose a sign type. Today we'll create a banner. The next page provides useful information about banners including highlights, details, installation tips and tricks, as well as how to care for your sign once you receive it. The template tab allows you to start from scratch or choose from one of our many professionally designed templates. By default, we featured our most popular templates. If you're looking for something specific, you can search for it here. Or you can search by category on the left. For instance, if your store is having a sale, you could find templates for sale banners here. We'll choose this template to work with. Once you choose a template, the design tool opens so that you can customize your sign. Let's take a look at the basic features of the design tool. Here you see the banner with the template you have selected. The thick black line around the perimeter is the design area. Anything that's placed outside this thick black line won't show up on your banner. You'll want to keep everything inside this area. The black dotted line is what we call the safe zone. All of your design elements should reside within this dotted line, which will not show up on your final product. You can see that each of the components of the design can be highlighted individually for editing. We'll come back to that in a minute. Underneath the banner, you'll find the width and height. You can change these numbers to resize your banner to just about any size. For instance, we can make a banner that is 96 inches wide by 40 inches high. Today we'll stick to the default size, which is 48 inches by 24 inches. Next to the dimensions, you'll see the sign type you initially selected, which you can change here if you'd like. If you change the type of sign, you can see the change in price reflected in the gray box underneath. In the gray box you can also change your sign quantity and see the price change reflected in your subtotal. Signs.com offers discounts based on the number of signs you order. Just above the pricing are a few tools that will help you design your sign just the way you want it. You can zoom in, pan, zoom out, or see a full screen proof of your sign. To return to the original view, click here. On the left side of the design tool, you'll find several basic tools that we'll explore while we customize our sale sign. First, let's change the colors. Each component of the sign can be changed to a different color. This particular template will let you change the color of each letter in sale. You simply click on the letter you want to change and choose the color you want. Let's change the S to a shade of red. The bar below the wheel allows you to choose the right shade. You'll notice the hex number in the box here. Each shade has its own number, so if you wanted all the letters to be this shade of red, you could simply choose each letter and type in this hex number and they would all be exactly the same color. To change the background color on the banner, you click on this yellow portion and then move the color wheel around until you find a color you like. If you decide you like the original color best after all, you can go up here to Undo to revert back to the original. These letters can also be resized or moved around. To resize a letter, click on that letter and then place your cursor on one of the boxes surrounding it. Then you click and drag to change the size. Using the corner boxes will maintain the aspect ratio of the letter while using one of the middle boxes, will allow you to resize it however you'd like. You can also rotate any text or object by using this circle. If you want to move the letters, you just click and drag. I'll use undo again to move it back. You can also change the text. Instead of 50% off, 
let's have our sign advertise 60% off. To change the text, you click on 50. On the left-hand side, under Text, you can see the 50 in the text box. I'll just type in 60 to change the sign. You can also add additional text to your sign. To do so, you go down to the text area on the left. This little button allows you to add text. You click on that and the tool prompts you to add your desired text in the box. To move the text to where you want it on the sign, simply click and drag the text box to the appropriate spot. You can then change the color of the text, change the font, make it bold, or put it in italics. Add another element to your sign by introducing another shape. Click on the shape you want, then drag it to the location you'd like. You can change its color, size, and orientation. There are lots of other ways to play with the design of your sign. You can bring an element to the front, or send it to the back. The tool allows you to quickly center an element vertically or horizontally. You can duplicate an element or delete it. You can also add your own elements by using the Upload Image button. Click on the button and find the appropriate file. Then move the image by clicking and dragging. Once you make changes in your design that you want to keep, it's a good idea to save those changes. To do so, you click on Save Design here. Now, if you leave the page, your design is temporarily saved in My Designs. You can always create an account to permanently save your designs. Our design tool has a few advanced capabilities. Show Bleed Area shows you the part of the banner that prints outside the size parameters before the sign is trimmed. Show Non-Printable Area allows you to see any elements that are outside the printable part of your sign. You'll want to make sure that you move anything you want on the sign to inside the black line. The Design Grid allows you to easily align elements. Once you're happy with the final design of your sign, you add it to your cart. From this screen, you can change the quantity, see a full screen proof, delete the sign, or edit the sign, which takes us back to the design tool. It's fun to play around with Signs.com's design tool. You'll quickly see that the possibilities for creating customized signs are endless. We can't wait to see what you'll create.